Hi everybody, I start the third lecture and I continue the COVID-19 SARS-CoV-2 and function and how is the pharmacological treatment of the, this virus. I continue. Uh, now I want to uh, explain how the viral virus enters the cell. There is a, a protein we call TMPRSS2 or we can say transmembrane protein 2 protein. This protein uh, can help for the activation of the S protein. It's very important. This protein, this enzyme, okay, or, or we can say transmembrane protein 72 protein enzyme can help for the activation of this protein. And then this protein can attach to the AC2 receptor, okay? As in, then we can say it is for the activation. It is for the activation. Activation of S protein. And then can attach to S protein. Then without TMPRSS2, viral it cannot uh, attach to, cannot bind to the half cell. It is very important. And it is one of the important things for the drug treatment. If we can prevent or block the effect or function of the TMPRSS2, in this case, the S protein cannot be activated and in this case cannot bind to the uh, cannot bind to the mm, cannot bind to the uh, host cell okay and uh, now we go to the mechanism how it is as I say as I've explained for you uh, TMPRSS2 is the uh, protease receptor is blind to the serine protease in the physiological I, I also teach about this part serine protease family is one of the membrane proteins, transmembrane protein, and it, is, it has a very important function for the activation of the S protein in the COVID-19. Okay, uh, after uh, activation, uh, it primes the, the viral spike protein to enter in the target the target cell. Okay, if uh, for example, if we cannot uh, uh, activate it, this uh, part, we can. Uh, we cannot uh, prevent uh, viral goes inside the cell. Uh, now I want helps how we can block this enzyme. For the block of this enzyme, we can use two types of the medicine. Yeah, uh, nafamostat. As you see, it is a uh, nafamostat and camostat. These two medicines can block, can block, excuse me, can block TMPRSS2. It's very important. In this case, if we can prevent uh, 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 activation of the TM, TMPRSS2, in this case, uh, for example, nafomostat is the seriportal inhibitor. It has a it is a short-acting anticoagulant, so maybe in the pharmacology, if you remember. Uh, it has a short-acting anticoagulant and uh, mainly be used to the treatment of the pancreatitis, okay? But it has also anti-viral uh, and anti-cancer properties. It's very important. In the NAPLEX and USMLE uh, lectures, I also, I also explain about this part because the serine protease inhibitor, it has a uh, uh, anti viral and anti anti cancer effect, and uh, with this mechanism, I can put, we can block the TMPRS2. Okay, uh, then we can one of the option for the prevention of the activation, and uh, the first is the for the prevent entering the virus inside the cell. Uh, it is a uh, inhibition of the uh, inhibition of the uh, TMPRSS2. Okay. Um, 
mainly it is also nafomo start uh, uh, is a potent antiviral inhibitor in the lung cell. Uh, it's, for example, the, if the stage of the lung infection increase in the COVID-19, uh, we can use this medicine for the prevention of the damage, full damage of the lung and lung failure. Okay. Uh, when we use uh, nafomostat, it's mainly uh, this medicine after the uh, mechanism can be metabolized, metabolized in the liver. This metabolic this nafomostat can metabolize in liver. It's very important. Can be in the metabolized in the liver, okay? By hepatic uh, carboxy esterase because you know it is a protease enzyme and it can be with the carboxy hepatic uh, carboxy esterase and the long chain of uh, acyl uh, coenzyme hydrolase in the liver is uh, cytosol. It's very important. Okay, and the two uh, products can be produced from this medicine. One of is the, the PGBA and the one is the AN. Uh, PGBA is the uh, para-guanidino uh, para uh, and benzoic acid and uh, AN is the 6-amidino to uh, nafitol or uh, Nafitol is from the because the two benzene ring is, uh, is like an aftol, and uh, this products also can uh, the secretion by the kidney and uh, and the uh, small amount also can be found in the bile bile duct and uh, some of the uh, some can be is in the feces and decrease in the body after metabolism. Then it can be for the two metabolism for the PGBA and AN. Okay, J6 uh, uh, amidino to naft naftol and also the, the other one P guadino, guan guanidino benzoic acid. It is about the, the first method to recommend about the, this drug and uh, uh, but uh, this medicine maybe has uh, some uh, side effects like uh, uh, the main side effect maybe we have to check the potassium amount of the blood because it can cause hyperkalemia and also uh, can affect our granulocytosis and uh, maybe in the, if we have allergy for this medicine it can be anaphylaxis and uh, sometimes it affects for the heart and it can cause a cardiac arrest. It is important and I also mentioned about the pharmaceutical background of this medicine. But Kamostat also is like uh, Nafomostat, it is a cell importance inhibitor. The mechanism is the same, it can prevent and uh, inhibit the TMPR SS2, and it is also used uh, for the treatment of pancreatitis, and it has a potent uh, antiviral effect, and also uh, we, we, in the anti cancer drugs, we also use from the, this drug. But uh, Kamostat, uh, also have metabolized, it can be happen with the canostat, canostat, mesylate, 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 and it's hydrolyzed by the, by the, again, the same enzyme can by carboxylesterase, and uh, to active uh, drugs in the canostat, the first metabolism uh, production of the active uh, product, uh, which is 4-4-guantino-benzoxyl-phenylacetate, uh, uh, this compound is also potent and also active. Then a hydrolyze of the, uh, this medicine again can be hydrolyzed uh, by the allylesterase and the production of the four guanidino benzoic acid, the same production from the like this, because it's very important. And then it can be uh, secreted by the urine or uh, by the, uh, by the fees. Uh, but the first Kamostat main, I remember, uh, around uh, 300 milligram to 600 milligram per day, we can use for the patient for this medicine, for the stage of the for the prevention after this one. Uh, the second step is the if we use the other mechanism, okay, we can prevent AC2 receptor. We can inhibit this drug. They find the drugs. 
because it is very legal, say, Arbidol. In the United States, also, this drug is used, Arbidol, Arbidol. Arbidol is the, also legal, uh, is uh, uh, Umifenovir, Umifenovir. This medicine is the uh, AC2 membrane uh, receptor inhibitor, and uh, uh, it used mainly 200 milligram per day, and uh, or, uh, we can increase for the 200 milligram per eight hours and for the three times increasing. And uh, this medicine we can find in the Europe or America in the 50 milligram and 100 100 milligram tablet and uh, your capsule granule is that we can with this medicine we can prevent and we can block uh, AC to receptor and uh, it is very important albidol and one of the important medicine which is uh, the other medicine for this AC to receptor which is important and very important for us we use the chloroquine Chloroquine also we can use for the prevent of the for the uh, inhibit of AC AC to receptor. Okay, as you remember, uh, uh, this one one of the important medicine in Africa because we uh, we use in the pharmacology for the treatment of the malaria and uh, we also the parasite because prevention of the malaria has a parasitis. Chloroquine phosphate inhibitor terminal the phosphorylation of AC2. It is very important because it is inhibit terminal phosphorylation of AC2 and uh, hydroxy also chloroquine uh, also increase the pH uh, pH in the endosome which is in uh, which is also involved uh, involved when the viral we, when we have endocytosis phagocytosis of the virus inside the host cell both mechanism. Uh, uh, constitute a relevant antiviral mechanism. I will draw in here now uh, because it may, sometimes uh, uh, the viral, whole of the viral can go inside phagocyte, you know, can imperme, uh, uh, phagocyte inside the cell or endocytosis um, with the mechanism of endocytosis. And in the both of the mechanism helps for the uh, uh, prevention of the COVID-19 inside the cell. Now it is a uh, chloroquine. It is a. Uh, it can inhibit AC2 receptor. It's very important. Uh, and uh, metabolism is good as you know in the Africa it was for the malaria. Partially is hepatic, hepatic uh, metabolism, and uh, it convert to the uh, there's a uh, chloroquine. Which it can also then the metabolism and then can secrete by the urine is very important. We will study in the next lecture. Okay. Uh, now, as you see here, uh, the mechanism if you see here, is it okay? Viral can start insert the cell. For example, I, this viral can be mechanical endocytosis. It is a endocytosis, and I have a viral here. Inside, now inside the cell, the mechanism of endocytosis, okay, and, okay, now when the mechanism of endocytosis happens, endocytosis, okay, it is an endosome, okay, now, okay, with the endosome acidification, if you see, in the, it will be viral genome go out. Acidification. Genome go out. Okay? Now, with this mechanism, we can use the chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine. We can use hydroxy. Chloroquine and chloroquine also. It is prevent and chloroquine. You see, we can use the chloroquine as I mentioned in the last picture because uh, hydroxychloroquine prevent pH acidic prevention in the 
cell and in this the endosome cannot be endosomal acidification cannot be happen and uh, in this situation uh, in general uh, that cannot go out in this situation inside my inside stay in the inside because as you know chloroquine inhibit down also uh, because I, I, I mentioned as I mentioned uh, chloroquine is the AC2 uh, antagonist is inhibitory okay but hydroxy uh, chloroquine can prevent endosomal acidification. In this case, the endosome cannot be, uh, uh, cannot go out from the endosome. Okay, it's one of the important things we ha I have to mention here, here, which have to helps to the, uh, uh, helps to the prevention of the virus inside the cell. Hydroxyquin chloroquine with the metabolism can convert to the uh, chloroquine and um, other mechanism is the same for the chloroquine and uh, uh, just the first step is the um, hydroxy chloroquine which is very which is very important for okay and it is as I mentioned chloroquine uh, metabolism is the, by the liver is partially and the production of the desert the chloroquine which is important and then can be secretion by the urine okay. Uh, some of the some I saw in some of the articles uh, for the daily dose of the chloroquine in the uh, COVID-19 treatment, uh, mainly we use uh, five milligram uh, orally for the every t every twelve hours, or we can also use a two hundred fifty milligram tablet or five hundred milligram tablet for this situation. Uh, for the dose uh, adjustment, we need about the kidney and. Uh, uh, creatinine uh, clearance because it, if the effect of the, the kidney and the dose mentioned is very important for us and we have to care about this. Okay, and for hydro uh, hydro, uh, hydro chloroquinone, we use mainly for 100 milligram every 12 hours hydrochloroquine, and uh, and we can find it in the 200 milligram tablet. Uh, every 12, uh, 12, uh, 12 hours we can use two of them and uh, or we can use of the salt form of them is hydroxychloroquine base okay and uh, until here is very good until here is almost we studied and we learned how we can prevent the entry the virus inside so, but the, the one of the question is here is very important how we can prevent endocytosis for the endocytosis, we use usually with the imatinib. Then I can use imatinib. For the prevention of the endocytosis, is very important because, as you see in, in, in metani, uh, imatinib, it is uh, inhibit the BCL, ABL, tyrosine kinase, which mainly use for the endocytosis because as you in the Pfizer physiology the background of this mechanic BCL ABL tyro tyrosine kinase help for the endocytosis of the uh, viral genome uh, inside the heart cell and now we can use of the imatinib uh, uh, imatinib uh, for the prevention of the endocytosis okay and it's very important Imatinib uh, uh, can be metabolized in the liver uh, with the main, with the famous and the main enzyme with the CYP3A4. This medicine can be metabolized CYP3A4. It's very important, this the drug. And uh, this is the main enzyme, but with the other enzyme, minor enzyme like uh, CYP. 1A2 and uh, 2D6 and other enzyme can also metabolize because of this many exam can affect for this drug metabolizing almost usually is the uh, faster and in the primary 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 metabolized uh, production of the N uh, dimethylate uh, Peperazine derivatives, it is active compound, and uh, then it can convert, okay? The problem of this active metabolite of this drug, it is 
very intolerant the pharmacological background. It is make a severe hepatitis impairment. It can be a hepatic failure. Okay, and uh, it's very bad, and uh, because of this inactive metabolism, can be affecting the liver. But in some cases, uh, we can use these drugs in the low dose, or with the monitorizing of the hepatitis, we can do this medicine. is very important for us. Okay, until to this today, this lecture, as I mentioned, I uh, mainly Started, we studied about how we can prevent because uh, in this direction also genome can, uh, in this cascade time, the genome can be active inside the cell. In the two different mechanisms, genome can ins enter inside the cell. And in the next lecture, uh, now the genome inside the cell with the two different pathways because it is a viral host membrane fusion, viral host membrane fusion uh, and the other mechanism in the cytosis where both of mechanisms we can prevent to enter entire uh, virus inside the cell in the next lecture and uh, now we are virus inside in the cell we will study about how the replication genome replication happen and uh, we will continue about this thank you very much